Welcome back to Just Scribble for my mail station setup. In my last Jet Pens haul, I shared these clear books from Kokio and the file system that they use. And I let you guys know that I had two ideas that I thought would be awesome for organization for me that utilized these clear books. I thought these clear books would be just the perfect vehicle for my ideas. One was a fountain pen ink swatch book, and I went into a little bit of detail on that one in the Jet Pens haul unboxing video, and I will be doing a full setup of it, including some swatches with you in a future video. But in this video, we're going to talk about the other idea, which is my mail station idea. So I don't know about you, but when I get the mail each day, I don't necessarily have time to do everything with it that needs to get done at that moment. I can't always take the time to go through it and pay everything that needs to be paid, file everything that needs to be filed, respond to the things that need to be responded to, etc. And so the mail tends to get kind of stacked and then oftentimes thrown into my bag to go to work. And whenever I have a chance at work or at home, I will go through and process the items in my mail that I need to process. But it gets kind of bulky when you have a whole bunch of envelopes and there really isn't an organization or rhyme or reason to it. And so that makes it less efficient when it is time to go through and process things. It also just makes for a lot of clutter. And so I was trying to figure out a better system in our household to handle the mail. And I had this brilliant idea or what I thought was brilliant to design a mail station that would enable me to immediately kind of sort through the mail and then give it a place to sit until it was time to process those items. And so this clear book is my solution for that mail station. So this clear book is from Kokio, and I'm going to take what's inside of it out real quick and set it aside just so I can show you. It is an A4 size, so do I have a letter paper handy? Okay. So it is A4 size. I'm gonna turn it this way because it might just be a little bit easier for you to see the size right now. And so it is slightly larger than a letter, US letter piece of paper, but pretty much the A4 paper is about the same size as letter. And the book itself is pretty similar in size to a binder that you would get like at Staples or Office Max to hold your letter size papers. So you can see that it's just a smidge taller basically, but the actual width is the same. So it's about the same size as what you would buy in a normal, you know, three ring binder that you could get at the office supply store. But what's special about this book is the internal mechanism that you use to store your papers. So it has these rails, there are six of them, three here and three here, and you slide what they call files into these rails and that creates the internal guts of your book. So instead of punching holes where you're gonna put it on a ring and then it's going to sit slightly out because the ring is pushing your paper out to the edge, Instead, it's going to set these, what they call files in here, and your papers are gonna go into the files. The files come in four different styles. They have a sort of secretarial pocket style, where when you open it up, it has two secretarial pockets, similar to what you would get in a file folder that you bought at Target or the office supply store. It has one that holds business cards, and I showed that one in the Jet Pens haul because that's what I'm using in my fountain pen ink swatching book. And then it holds ones that are sort of like page protectors. And in that one file, it has 12 page protectors that have an opening at the top that you slide paper into. And then it has zipper pocket files. And so my idea for this mail organization system was to utilize the page protector style and the zipper pocket style and to put them in here and set up a system for our mail. Now, one of the other benefits besides the unique rail system in this is that the spine is kind of squishy. And so if you only put a couple of files in there or you didn't chunk up the files that were in there, this book stays relatively slim and compact. But as you add things, it has the ability to expand to take on more. And so you can make it thinner or thicker to accommodate what you have, which is quite nice. 
and it's slim overall even at its thickest spot and kind of squishy so it's easy to transport if you do take your mail system to work to process things or if you are leaving it out on your kitchen counter or in your home organization center that you keep in your kitchen area so in order to have a mail system i decided that we need that i needed to have five main sections of organization i needed to have things that needed to be filed away, like your property tax receipt or something for your income tax return, a section for shredding. So for things that you don't want to throw into the trash without shredding them, things to pay, which in my mind is kind of things to pay or deposits. So if you had checks that you needed to deposit at the bank or you needed to pay a bill, both of those things are kind of to pay financial section. Then to journal, so things that you wanted to keep as ephemera or tippins for your journal, and things to respond to. So letters that you need to respond to, an insurance issue that you need to call them up about, a wedding invitation that you need to RSVP to, things like that. And so I decided that's the five main organization areas that I need when I go through my mail. And then I decided that it would also be nice to have a section where you could put things that don't need to be addressed now, that can be addressed in the future, or that you don't wanna forget about in the future. And so say you did get that wedding invitation and you would put it in your response section, but then after you RSVP to the wedding, you may move that into a section for the month of the wedding so that you don't forget to A, put it on your calendar, add it into your journal, buy a gift, etc. So that is the overall concept of my mail organization system. So what I have done is I bought the zipper pouches, five of them for the five main categories that I decided I needed for sorting my mail. And I did take vinyls that I cut on my Cricut Maker and put them on the top. You don't have to do that. You could use a label maker. You could not label them at all. You could do it with a permanent marker, whatever works best for you. But I labeled each section so I would remember what the sections were. And then they zip open and you can put your mail items in there. So I have one for responding, one for journaling for your ephemera, one to pay, one to shred, and one to file. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in here and then I have my sixth one, which is the page protector one that I put labels at the top for each month. And so that way I have a place if I need to put something into a future spot it has the months on there and I can go ahead and just stick it in there. And when I go through to process my mail, I can go to the current month and grab anything that I might need that I may have filed away in a previous month. I really hope this makes sense. So we are going to put this into my file. So I am going to put these in an order that makes sense to me. So the journaling things are the things from my mail that I really don't have to deal with as early as other things because that really is just for me whereas to pay and to respond are kind of immediate things when i'm processing my mail that are priorities so those are going to be kind of towards the front filing is also a more immediate thing so that things are where i need them to be when you file your taxes etc and then to shred is a little bit more important than journaling but also kind of in the back because I feel like shredding is something that I do kind of in bulk and so I can add to it until I have time to go to our shredder and just sit there and mass shred. So these have little mm, kind of like a T I guess and it slides into the rail. I'm hoping that this is on the screen so you can see but they just slide in there and then they're affixed. So my first section will be to pay. My sex, second section, you can hear my kiddo playing in the other room. It's getting very excited. Then to respond. Then to file. Then to shred. To journal 
And these may not be the categories that you need or that you want for your household, but I think that overall they're a good selection of categories that would work for most people, but you can definitely adjust it your own way and your own method. You may want a sixth category and you may not want the monthly one like I have done. So you can kind of adjust it to your needs. You may also not want zipper pockets and you may want all page protectors. You may want secretarial pockets. You can adjust it according to your needs and what you want. And so now I have this file system that has all of my sections in it. And so when I get my mail every day, the first thing I always do is just throw away the junk, the stuff that doesn't matter, that doesn't need to be shred, that doesn't need to be addressed. I just throw it away. Then I can quickly unzip and just stick the other items into whichever section they need to go into. And then once a week, or you can do it more frequently or less frequently, depending on what works for you. But for me, it will be once a week. Once a week, I can then take this and process everything that's in it. So I will go through and pay and or deposit all of the money type things. I can respond to anything I need to respond to, file what needs to be filed in our filing cabinet, shred whatever needs to be shredded, or I can hold on to this piece and do my shredding session like I normally do journal. I can grab things out of here to journal for what I want to journal about at the time or what I have time to journal about. And then I can leave the other things in here until I have time to get to them or until they are appropriate to add to my journal. And then I can go to the particular month that I am in, which right now is June, almost July. And I can address anything that is in the monthly section that I need to address and I'm done. And if I take it to work to do this, it is quite small and it's perfect to fit into my totes or my backpack that I carry to work with me. So that is my mail station. I am probably going to take out this little card here that has the brand on it that says Kokyo and talks a little bit in Japanese about the system. I'm going to take that out and instead label it with something that says mail station. I may put mail station in our name. I have not decided, but that is my mail station that I wanted to share with you. I really think that this is going to be a super helpful tool to just help us reduce paper and clutter and stay more organized in our household. And I'm super excited about it. I'm glad to have it set up. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. You could do a similar concept with other things within your household or at work. And I just think it's an awesome system. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about anything that I talked about in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will get back with you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked this video because that does help my channel grow. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. And don't forget to just scribble.